Weather portion of Ag Week now. We move on into the middle part of May. Planting season gets in full high gear in the northern plains. Starts wrapping up down across the Corn Belt. The patterns are this way. Generally cool to mild uh, weather. Not a lot of heat, not a lot of cold anywhere. We may see a few frosts in the north, but that is still typical as we go through early and mid-May. And generally, I would say categorize this as a dry pattern. Not to say there won't be any rain anywhere, but it will be likely overall Middle part of the country is going to be a little lower than average with one significant change taking place at the end of this discussion around the middle part of May. Jet stream this week is fairly flat. Meandering from west to east means that the cold air is mostly up in the very high latitudes. Alaska, the higher latitudes of Canada have been extremely cold this spring, but we're not seeing a lot of that trickle down into southern Canada at this time. And the really hot weather is confined mostly to Texas and the deserts in the southwest, the Mojave Desert, so we're not seeing a lot of heat coming up through the middle of the country and certainly not at all in the Middle West. There will be a general sagging in the jet stream in the eastern part of the United States this week. That's going to send some relatively cool weather down through the Corn Belt and it's going to stay that way for a while. It will recover toward the end of this and they're leaving me cold enough for a few frosts in some areas especially around the Great Lakes and into the Northern Plains. There will be setting up by this weekend a little bit of ridging in the west and that's going to set up a little northwest flow which is going to make a tricky forecast because if this shifts a few hundred miles east or a few hundred miles west of where I've depicted it here, you could get very warm weather for a few days into the northern plains or some relatively chilly weather backing in. That's something to keep an eye on. So that's as we move into the weekend. As the weekend turns into next week, that jet stream will begin to flatten. Chillier weather will become more west to east oriented and the warm weather will continue mostly confined to the far southwest and the southern states. As the trough in the east begins to lift, we'll see the heat building up a little bit into the southeast as the week goes along. And it looks like as we head toward the end of this period here, around the uh, in middle part of May, going to start to see an interesting pattern that could be leading toward the first southern plains severe weather outbreak of the season. It looks like we're setting up for that in about the end of the two-week period. This week there will be some rains in the northern plains but not substantial, not widespread, not sustained. But Monday, Tuesday into Wednesday could be a little wet. Showers and thunder showers through the Corn Belt mostly of just a scattered variety. The second week of the period, there we go. The southern plains, that pattern looks stormy to me. The rest of the nation, east coast, northern plains, Rockies and west, not saying there won't be any precipitation but it looks like just kind of scattered stuff at best. So it's not a very wet pattern for the Northern Plains and Corn Belt. Good for getting planting wrapped up and moving forward. Hopefully there'll be enough rain for germination. The stormy weather looks like it'll be in the south.